Hey everyone, it's Bearded. Welcome back to Skyrim. Uh, I know I haven't uploaded a, uh, or recorded a video in a while. I am recording this today, I think right after I uploaded the Resident Evil one. Let's find out what we're doing today. So, to the grave. I guess we're, first off, we're headed to the graveyards. Let's run there. Uh, who are you looking for? A woman, a foreigner in these lands. Red guard like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will okay. pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in White Run, though we will be in Rorikstead if we learn. That explains why you're just at the door. Um, why are you looking for this person? It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. Uh, who are you looking for again? We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell. A Redguard woman. She may be somewhere in this city. Well, if I find her, I'll... I'll let you know. No, I won't. We will find her eventually. I am sure you will. I am waiting for a good death. A good death? Yes. Were I to simply lay down and die, it would not please Malakath. Why do you wish to die? My time has come. I am old. Too old to become chief. It would be wrong for me to take wives at this age. So I will die. Malakath has given me a vision of a glorious death. I am to wait here until it finds me. As you can see, it has not yet arrived. You don't look that old to me. Certainly you are still strong and a capable warrior. Indeed. One should find his death while he can still call himself a proper man. We orc men are not like these Nords and Imperials who carry on until they are gray and feeble and their hair falls out. To cling to something past its usefulness is unseemly. How much more so when that thing is you? Perhaps I could give you the death you seek? Perhaps. Are you sure about this? Uh, I'm... Yes, I'm sure. I will give you a good death. Hmm. See you shall see. Like... I like his time was ready.
So, that assassin had a Dark Brotherhood assassin's note. It says, As instructed, you are to eliminate Takir Laptin. I don't remember how I decided to pronounce the name. Uh, the Black Sacrament has been preformed. Somebody wants this poor fool dead. We've already received payment for the contract. Failure is not an option. Somebody named Astrid. Well, let's continue our journey to Iverstead to talk to the Greybeards. And we have made it to Iverstead, as I'm running into the wall here. Um, to continue forth, I believe I need to find stairs. Do you know anything about anything, guard? The Greybeards have sp What could it mean? The return of the Dragonborn? And who among us could possibly hold that honor? With I such mean, power? me. I mean, look at that face. It's true, isn't it? A dragon has attacked White Run. How could mere men bring down such a thing? Yes, yes, it's true. There was a dragon. On your way up the seven thousand steps again, Clement. Seven thousand steps. Hey, Clement. Not today, passing through on your uh, way to High Hrothgar. About to make a delivery up there myself. Uh, is there anything you can tell me about High Hrothgar? I've been to the monastery many times, but I've never even laid eyes on one of the Greybeards. Not that I'd care to. Being masters of the Thum, they could kill you by uttering a single word. Well, not that they would. They seem peaceful, but I wouldn't want to provoke them. Uh, what type of... or rather, what types of deliveries do you make to Hyrothgar? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. Mm-hmm. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Mm -hmm. And, uh, in return? Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be, and climbing the 7,000 steps takes its toll. Yeah, but, um, I could do it for you. Really? Well, that would be kind of you. Here. Take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Anything I could, uh, anything I should watch out for while, um, during the climb? Well, there's the occasional wolf pack or stray, but that's all I've ever had to deal with. Shouldn't be a problem for the likes of you. Other okay. than that, watch your footing. In these wintry conditions, the stairs can be treacherous. Thank you. Thank you for your information. I will deliver your delivery. Are the Greybeards expecting some supplies? Honestly, uh, I'm not certain. What can I do I for you on such a fine day? Anything you can tell me about Hyrothgar? I always thought it was odd that there's a layer of thick clouds covering the peak of the mountain above the monastery. Huh. Not sure what's up there, but I bet the Greybeards know. You seem quite happy. My father taught me an important lesson many years ago. He said, Gwilym, you have the whole world before you. Go out and experience it. Be whatever you want to be. So I took his advice, and here I am. This life might not look like much to you, but I'm content. And isn't that all that matters? 
Yeah. All right. Well, thank you both. I will start heading up the 5,000 steps to Hyrathgar. 7,000, sorry. Looks like we've made it. This is Hyrothgar. I need to deliver the deliveries. Put them in there. Oh, oops, sorry. Store them. I will return to him after I speak to the Greybeards. I speak to the guy who gave me his deliveries that I said I would deliver for him. Lydia. I'd like for you to just wait here right quick. As you wish, my friend. I must speak to the Greybeard. Shanga. Oh. A dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. You call me dragonborn, but what does that mean? First, let us see if you truly are Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Both fight us with the power of your voice. Shout for us, Dragonborn. I, I do not be afraid. I just shout did. Will not harm us. Dragonborn, I yes. am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Okay. Now tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? Um, I'm answering. <clears throat> I am answering your summons, Master. We are honored to welcome a dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. What is my destiny, if you don't mind me asking? That is for you to discover. We can show you the way, but not your destination. The way. You can show me the way. Um, I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Yes. Uh, yes, I do see. believe so. All right. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a tomb, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn the words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Ro, the right. second word in unrelenting force. Ro. Ro means balance. Hi, Master Einarth. Combine it with Fus, Force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Roll. I believe I'm focusing on it. I'm 
Alright, so, right, go to... I just want to kind of hear you. Subtitles aren't... Should be on. There, it should be on all the time. I don't know why I couldn't hear you. I mean, other than the saying, oh, you learned a new word. Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. Okay. As part of your initiation, Master Einard will allow you to tap into his understanding of both. Okay. What is your understanding? Okay. Yes, I will. Sorry, Master Bori. I've been told I'm a fast laner. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. I would hope so. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. I will. You'll need me to do something? I'll just ready to get as you command, my friend. It is cold out here. We will now see how you learn a completely new shot. Master Bori will teach you wood, which means whirlwind. Okay, Master Bori. Boy. You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thing. What is your knowledge of wood? Yes. Master Bori? Okay. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it. Yes. Master Anger. Your quick mastery of a new thum is uh, astonishing. I would I've hope so. I've heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? I don't know how I, uh, I did it, but it just happened. 
You were given this gift by the gods for a reason. It is up to you to determine how best to use it. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrau. Remain true to the way of the voice. You will return. Famous and uh Sorry about voice man. And with that, everyone. Thank you everyone for watching. I'm Bearded. This episode we climbed, or we made our way to Iverstead, climbed the 7,000 steps to Hyrathgar, delivered uh, someone's deliveries to be nice, and we got some training from the Greybeards. The next episode we will retrieve the horn for them, and maybe something else. Maybe next episode will be a um, a side quest. I'll probably join the Battleborns in Whiterun. And with that, everyone, thank you for watching. I'm Bearded. If you're liking Skyrim, why not like, comment down below, subscribe, and hit the bell. I'll see everyone in the next video.